Thank you, phone. Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another 4x4, four four, this time for Too Faced Cosmetics. This is a new series I'm doing on my channel where I talk about the four best products in a brand and the four worst products in a brand. On my last video, if you missed that, I'll throw it right up in the cards up here. In that video, I put up a poll asking you guys which brand you would like to see next, and it was actually a tie between Too Faced and ColourPop. So I'm going to be doing Too Faced in this video, and then the next video in this series is going to be about ColourPop. Before we jump into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I put up a new video. And if you do like the series idea, please give this a thumbs up. It really does help us out. And let's jump into the four best and four worst products from Too Faced. I had a really great comment on my last video talking about how it would be better if I alternated between a good product and a bad product. So we're going to do that today. We're going to start off with the first bad product from Too Faced and then we'll alternate between good and bad. So this is a little bit controversial, but the first product I really don't like from Too Faced is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I know. I know this is... Who, who doesn't like this mascara? I mean, there's a few people that I've seen that don't like it, but no matter what I do, no matter how I wear it, it is always clumpy and it is always flaky and it doesn't give my lashes any volume or anything. I just end up with flakes all down my face. I've tried it multiple times. I've tried the little sample, like the little mini ones. I've tried a full size mascara. It just does not work. And for the life of me, I can't understand the hype around this mascara. I even tried out the, the one from L'Oreal, the Lash Paradise that was supposed to be a dupe for it. I didn't like that one either. So I'm not sure if it's just that type of formula that works for a lot of people and maybe it just doesn't work for me or what everyone thinks is amazing. I honestly cannot fathom because I've, tr I've literally tried it so many times. I went through a full, full size of it before realizing why am I forcing myself to use this? It sucks on me. It really does. It's just whoa. Switching gears to an amazing product from Too Faced all of their nine pan palettes. I specifically am familiar with the one in the tin packaging. I know before this they had them in the cardboard packaging and then they moved on to the tin and now they're reformulating a couple of these into like their nice packaging along with like the natural face palette. Personally, I love the packaging on these. I think it's perfect. They're small, they're travel friendly, they're strong. They've got a magnetic clasp on it that is so nice. They've got a decent sized mirror in here. They even give you a cute little booklet on how to use the palette. What I love are the selection of shades you get in each one of these and the fact that they're kind of put into little mini trios so beginner friendly and even if you're not a beginner if you're looking for a go-to palette if you're looking for something that gives you inspiration but also you can just intuitively know how to put on these are your best friend i love that they're in little trios i love that they're a mixture of mattes and shimmers except for the natural matte palette if you're looking for some really great mattes this is going to be your best friend my personal all-time favorite out of all of these is the boudoir eyes palette which has these amazing shades in here. It's a very cool toned, a very, like I feel like it's um like a Vixen kind of palette, but you can also make this very daytime friendly. I just adore the shades in here. This is a newer one that I bought. I actually did a whole video on this palette and my history with it. I'll throw that up in the cards if you missed it. I have the original palette that I bought, the original Boudoir Eyes that I first bought years and years ago, currently on display on my new dresser. Just because, I mean, I don't use it anymore because it's so old, but it's so sentimental to me that I just keep it on display because I love looking at it. They also have a couple of great colorful versions of these palettes. They have like the Country Girl. I don't know if that one's still available. That one had some color in it. They also had, it was like some something sweet themed like sweet pop or something that one had some great colors in it just anything in their nine pan packaging in the tin is incredible and the formula is spectacular i'm not sure how the formula compares to the newer packaging that just came out because i haven't bought any of those palettes yet since i was so happy with these ones so i'm not sure how that one compares but i do do adore these palettes the next product that's a dud from too faced 
they're liquid lipsticks they're matte liquid lipsticks I picked up a couple of these some from Sephora some from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they just they get clumpy they're not really opaque so you have to kind of layer them on but then when you layer them on they get crusty I just don't think they have a good liquid lipstick formula and especially like a matte liquid lipstick is very hard to get right because it has to dry down but it's like you don't want your liquid lipstick to make you feel like dehydrated and meh. like there's only a few liquid lipstick formulas that i do like and it can actually like wear for a full day and have look great and not feel like really uncomfortable so i know it's something really hard to get right but it's also something that's really easy to do really bad like there are some drugstore brands that can do this really well like wet and wild but it doesn't really matter at which price point that you're at it's all really about the formula and the formula of the matte liquid lipsticks from too faced is really a pass i i really wouldn't recommend them it doesn't matter what color they are it's just a no-go the next best product from Too Faced is one that's been hyped again and again and for all good reasons. It is the Sweet Peach Palette. This is such great, like this is my favorite packaging for eyeshadow palettes if you haven't, you know, figured that out by now. I love like the tin or the aluminum or whatever this is. I love it because it's hard, it protects the shadows on the inside, it looks adorable. Like I would display this in my room. It's got the magnetic closure which is amazing. It's got a large mirror here on the inside and then you've got your shades. It does smell but like I said, it only smells like when you're smelling it right here or when you're holding it right here. Normally when I'm using it and it's down on my vanity and I'm doing my makeup, I'm not smelling it. I've heard that if you first buy this and you don't like the smell, you can just leave it open for like a couple of days and then the smell dissipates. I'm not sure because I haven't left it open for that long, but I've heard that you can get good results out of that if you really don't like the scent. But these are some great shades and Too Faced really does have an amazing eyeshadow formula. This is such a unique palette in the versatility of the shades here because you get purples, you get pinks, you get greens, you get browns. Like if you're looking at it real fast, you're just like, oh, it's a neutral palette, like whatever. You really need to stop, take a look at these shades and really take like account of what you're actually getting in this palette because it's so much more versatile than a lot of other palettes that you're getting like especially now where every palette is a neutral with a pop of blue or a neutral with a pop of green like you're getting such a great variety of shades here i absolutely adore this palette i own over a hundred eyeshadow palettes and this is one palette that i keep coming back to time and time again i actually have a whole video about eyeshadow palettes i keep going back to if you guys missed that i will throw that up in the cards but this is right there on the top of the list hands down. The next really really like meh product from Too Faced is their like weird combination bronzers and I think they're discontinuing these. I'm talking specifically about the Snow Bunny bronzer. I'll throw a picture up right here where not only was it shimmery, it had little stripes in the middle and it was a combination of like a stark white, a like beige, a pink, and then a brown. That was one of the first bronzers I bought just because the packaging was beautiful and I was like, oh, this must be great. No. One, shimmery bronzers that are that colorful don't tend to look great on a wide variety of skin tones. And two, having that gradient effect, th the shades got really muddled. Either you had to like try to get your brush in to use one shade or you mix them all together and you got like a, po a shiny poop color. Shiny poop i think it would have worked out better if they had made it matte but even then i think it's still a strange combination of shades to put together Ugh, no just that was just not a good product and i've been seeing that all over tj maxx and marshall's and on reddit at different stores too i haven't really seen it in ulta or sephora so i really think they are discontinuing them i know they've re-released some of like the chocolate soleil and the soleil bronzers in the new packaging so i think that they're, they're doing some good work and getting rid of like the weird bronzer combinations the next holy grail product that i have from too faced another peach product but it's their Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is in my top three foundations of all time. All time. 
it is oh god it is seriously the most comfortable the most matte bulletproof long lasting foundation and it's actually transfer proof like i can like brand and i'm not gonna get it on like because i i'm notorious for wearing nothing but black even in the middle of the summer i tend to wear all black so i have like sleeves or like my shirt or anything it doesn't transfer onto it it stays matte it does not break down i tend to get really sweaty this works great i even use this in the winter i have to lighten this shade because i have warm nude right now which is a little bit too dark for me but i lighten it and it still looks amazing i just cannot say enough good things about this foundation i have combination dry skin so i get really oily right here and then really dry everywhere else this is one of the best foundations <laughs> i'm currently panning it because it is one of my favorite foundations and i was afraid of like running out of it but if i pan it and i still love it i'm gonna go and get matched and actually get a shade that i really don't have to mix because then it would be my number one perfect foundation and the last product from too faced are their metallic lipsticks talking about the bullet ones and the liquid ones so i kind of had the same issues with these metallic lipsticks as i do with their matte liquid lipsticks they're just not comfortable to wear and they're not the most opaque so you have to layer it on you just feel really uncomfortable the bullet lipsticks i rarely reach for bullet lipsticks as it is but those specifically yeah i just i think they really need to work on their lip products because if they were as great as like their eyeshadow and as their foundation they would be like the number one brand but i really think that like one of their weak spots are, is like their liquid lipstick their bullet lipstick any of their lipstick formulas because they're not really comfortable and they don't look the best and they don't wear that well and at that price point they should and the last favorite product from Too Faced is like the most recent one and it's from their new natural collections the natural face palette this is such a good palette again I love this packaging it's hard it's protective this one isn't magnetic but it has a little heart to clasp here in the front which is adorable it's got a gigantic mirror on the inside so I like to take this traveling and then on the inside you have your shades you have two bronzers two highlights two blushes it smells fresh almost kind of like baby powder which is a little weird but i like it it just smells fresh it smells clean i absolutely adore the highlighters in here and the blush you have like a hot pink blush and you have a really mauve blush i love the mauve it's amazing the two highlights i've already worn out the imprint in the highlight called satin sheets not to be confused with the satin sheets in the eyeshadow formula i did compare them they're not the same this is like specifically a highlighter the most blinding highlight ever and you only need a little bit like this palette will last you a long time the the only thing i'm not like a hundred percent on board with is like the shimmery bronzer but if you just like load a lot onto your brush and tap off the excess you can get most of the shimmer off which is you know good for me because i'm always a fan of like a more matte bronzer but I do love Sunny Honey, which is the matte bronzer in here. So that's a really good option in here. I think you're just getting so much product in here. It's so versatile and I absolutely adore the packaging. The If I was going to nitpick, the only thing that I don't 100% love is that it's not flat. So if you can tell, like there's a little bump right here in the middle. So it won't lay flat if you're packing and it won't lay flat like perfectly flat like in a drawer but really that's like negligible so that is my 4x4 for Too Faced Cosmetics let me know what you guys thought down below and let me know down below what is your favorite and your least favorite product from Too Faced thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video bye